Uniswap has had a rough time of it in 2021. The protocol's TVL has been flatlining in F terms. Curve has over doubled it. Complicating things, according to a recent RECT study, over half of Uniswap LPs are underwater. The problem is their V3 concentrates liquidity in small ranges, which is difficult for LPs and highly volatile assets. They have to constantly rebalance, which is made difficult because lower gas prices have failed to materialize so far. Where it could possibly work, though, is stablecoin pairings. As a result, Uniswap is trying for a Hail Mary. They're looking to undercut Curve's trusty three pool. Where Uniswap previously charged royal fees, 30 basis points to Curve's three, their governance is experimenting with cutting fees down to one basis point for USDC, USDT. And while it looked like it was having a good success, after a few days, trends started shifting back to Curve. See, here's the thing. Curve three pool will always have less slippage. So the big game players in the space, the whales, will always make big dollar value transactions through Curve. We saw this over the past few days, not only more three pool volume, but about six times protocol revenue. Meanwhile, LPs are gonna have trouble earning money off Uniswap's one basis point, whereas Curve LPs have juicy convex rewards to fall back on. Curve is considering spiking the football a bit, tweaking the A parameter up all the way up to 10K to maximize revenue based on the great research of Naga King. Still, things could always escalate. This might be the first gambit in their entire battle strategy. Uniswap is deep pocketed VCs and no shame about wasting their money. If one basis point is competitive, maybe they'll try zero, negative. Who knows how low they'll go? Might be worth watching.